Hey guys, this is Fiend Friend 91, and I'm talking about loot boxes. But this time, a Canadian court has ruled that this is with EA. A Canadian court has ruled that loot boxes are not illegal gambling. The class action lawsuit can continue the accusation that loot boxes are a form of deceptive arts or practices. Okay, let me just say where I'm at with this. Guys, we need to stop trying to blame companies for what is essentially a consumer problem. I'm not trying to say that it's all a consumer problem because it is true. When it comes to making money, some companies, I'm not saying EA did this, I don't know because I don't really buy loot boxes, but they may especially push certain things toward children specifically who of course would probably be more vulnerable to actually buy this stuff. But what I'm trying to say is that one of the biggest things is that parents need to be involved in their children's tech. You cannot have your ch child online buying stuff and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, what happened to all my money? You guys got to, when it comes to loot boxes and anything else really, there are ways to stop your children from buying the stuff, especially on their consoles. Because you can actually set, I believe, I believe on the Xbox at least, I don't know about PlayStation, at least when I checked on the Xbox One, I believe what you can do is you can set your child's, I guess, account to not be able to buy without permission, I believe, and even to not just be able to do anything. I mean, I think you can set it with different things, like you can set it to, they're able to basically download anything that's free, but they need permission to just pay, or you can just set it where they can't download anything, basically, unless you have, they have permission, I think. I haven't looked at it in a while, so I don't remember exactly, but that's how I believe it works where they can't at least download any add-ons or anything without your permission. I haven't looked in a while, but that's how I believe it worked, or at least something like that. So guys, this is not as much an EA problem as it is uh, parents need to get involved with whatever their kids are doing problem. You gotta get involved with your kids' technology, and you gotta figure out, because some of these companies, like I think Nintendo definitely has like some parental controls on kid accounts. So you got to get on those controls and you got to put a stop to your kids from being able to buy the loot boxes unless you give them permission. And there's many ways, you know, you don't necessarily have to do it that way. Maybe you could just like not allow your kid access to your credit cards or something like that. Definitely pray to God about it. You got to figure out with your kid how to best limit or stop them from purchasing these loot boxes. But... What do you guys think about this? The fact that the lawsuit was dropped, but it could, apparently this class action lawsuit can still continue under that loot boxes are a form of deceptive acts or practices. What do you guys think about that even? That they are deceptive acts or practices, even if they're not illegal gambling? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.